You want to learn some Hebrew today? We're going to learn some Hebrew today. I'm going to keep it simple, a short, sweet message, and I hope it blesses you. Oh man, guys. We're going to do a study together, not right now, but we're going to do a study together. I want to tell you in Greek when it says that Jesus groaned in his spirit when Lazarus had died. That word for groan, do you know what it means? He got very angry. Very angry. Oh, wow. Some people have a hard time thinking anger can, can come from within the spirit. And those people call me foolish, and that's okay. They can call me whatever they want, but I'm going to tell you what. Jesus got very angry in his spirit. I wish the translators would have put that in, in the King James instead of the word groaned. It's in the book of John, chapter 11. I'm going to read that whole, well, maybe most of it to you. But anyway, back to Hebrew. Because sometimes you just got to get sick of it and get angry. And if you're, if you're in pain and your healing needs to manifest, let me tell you. I've been telling you I've had this neck and shoulder pain for a long time. And now I'm getting frustrated and angry. And guess what? That pain, it's not showing its face very much. Once in a while it says, Yoo-hoo! I'm still here and I say, get out, get out. Jesus tells the father in John chapter 11, before he raises Lazarus from the dead, father, I thank you that you always hear my voice. And when he says always, he means every time. And when he says you hear, he says, akuo in Greek which means the father comprehends the co the father makes the voice of Jesus his own do you understand and the father understands the voice of Jesus which causes the father to respond akuo it's a powerful powerful greek word for hearing and we've been talking a lot about hearing lately and you need to know this, that the Father and that the Son who lives inside of your spirit always hears your voice. So do not have doubt, but be believing. Because Jesus always stresses, believe, believe, believe that the Father hears your voice. So if you're having trouble, Maybe you're like, you know, I don't really know what to say. Sometimes just keeping it simple is the most powerful thing to say, you guys. And as I'm reading scripture this morning in Greek, in the New Testament in Greek, two Hebrew words come to mind. And that is the word haya, haya. You know, when people do, they go to, 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 chop bricks in half or wood in half karate what do they shout out Haya! when they came to arrest Jesus in the garden and they said to him we're looking for, uh, for Jesus of Nazareth and Jesus says Haya! when he said Haya, do you know what these soldiers they all went falling down to the ground a cohort a Roman cohort, which is over 600 men, including officers. And if there were 600 officers, that means 1,200 people smacked the ground. And then, oh, I ah, won't go there. Haya in Hebrew is the same word that the Father, God, told Moses when Moses says who shall I said who shall I tell them that sent me the 
Father says, tell them, Hoya. But who else do you think is included in that almighty God that spoke to Moses? Who is the word that Moses heard? <laughs> the word. The I am. That was Jesus too. Yeshua. God says to Moses, tell them, Hiya has sent you. In Greek, Jesus would say, Ego, I me. Ego is I. I me is M. I am. But I really love Hebrew. Hiya. It's a powerful word. How that power of Hiya causes people's hands to just go through a whole stack of bricks. I don't know. Let me tell you something. There is dunamis, which is dynamite in Greek. Dunamis power that your spirit holds inside of you. And it only comes from the spirit. The most dunamis powerful force there ever is, ever was, and ever will be. And God always is or am. And am lives inside of you. That power am or is inside of you. Do you believe it? Do you trust it? So here's what I want you to say in Hebrew. If you believe it and trust it. And even if you don't believe it or trust it, let your ears hear it and hear it and hear it and hear it because faith comes by hearing and your faith is trust and belief combined. Just like trust and faith combined is belief. <laughs> Powerful. So you want to build your faith? You want to build your trust? You want to be believing? Keep on hearing, hearing, hearing. A koe in Greek. Faith comes by a koe hearing. And a koe comes by the word of Christ, which is the anointed word of God or the spirit filled word of God. So you guys breathe out or speak out the Spirit-filled Word of God, which cannot return to Him void, as Isaiah 55, 11 says, it cannot return void, empty, or unfulfilled. And if you put belief and trust and faith behind that Word, you got a bullet shooting out of your mouth that has impact and authority. Pain is an enemy, and the enemy has to run from the truth and if you speak out or rima that truth it shall not return void empty unfulfilled so I want you to just simply say and I want you to say this daily not because you're a doubter but your faith comes by hearing and your hearing will become understanding or a kuo. You will comprehend, you will understand, you will make it your own. Just like when Jesus told the Father, you always a kuo. He even says, I thank you that you have a kuo, my voice, because you always a kuo, my voice. You always hear my voice. Becomes one with the Father. So let your voice the word of Christ become one with you so here's your two Hebrew words okay here's your two Hebrew words that I want you to say Haya Rafa or you could even turn it Rafa Haya let's actually do Rafa Haya okay Rafa means to be healed or healing. It's the meaning of my middle name, Jason. <laughs> Rafa. Haya is I am. So you are speaking healing or healed I am. Healed I am. Why do I say that? 
Isaiah 53, by his stripes, you are healed. 2 Peter 2.24, by his stripes, you were healed. 2 Peter 2.24.25, somewhere around there. By his stripes, you were already healed. So you're declaring what is yours. It is yours. You must believe, trust, put your faith in it. Right? How does that faith come? Hearing. And let that hearing sink so deep that it becomes a kua within you. Rafa haya. Say it with me. Rafa haya. Say it again. Rafa haya. And make it your own. You just learned two Hebrew words today. You just learned two Hebrew words today. Now let's sing praise to the Lord. And I'm going to just give you a little tune that the Lord put inside of me some years and years ago. And uh, it's a little song. It's a song I made in my head. Produced, or in Greek, poyo. <laughs> poyo. Produced from within. The Lord gave it to me. You ready? Let's sing praise to the Lord right now, and then I'm going to go work out. <sighs> Yeshua HaMashiach Oh, Yeshua HaMashiach Oh, Yeshua HaMashiach Yeshua HaMashiach. Okay, sing with me. Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh, Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh, Yeshua HaMashiach. Oh, Yeshua HaMashiach. That's the name of our Lord and Savior. Jesus the Christ, or Yeshua HaMashiach. All right, you guys. I hope you all have a great day. Sing that little tune when you need to. You want to bring, give praise to the Lord? Keep it simple. Two words, Yeshua HaMashiach, and also keep it simple. Two words, Rafa Haya, healed you are. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.